Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand about another interesting chart in Minitab. Name of the chart is multivariate chart. So here you see multivariate chart. Let me read the description of this chart from Minitab. Display the mean for each level of each factor and examine relationship between them. Use to evaluate multiple factors. So a multivariate chart is a very interesting chart. Some of you may be using it, but I have seen very little usage of this chart in different analysis. So I thought this video will be useful for you to represent your data using multivariate chart in an interesting way. So for this uh, video, so let me take an example of, uh, again, a tech support contact center where the metric under discussion is customer satisfaction score, CSAT score. So what I have done is I have taken CSAT score and I have also taken factors, factors like what is the issue, whether it is a hardware related issue or an operating system related issue, or it is an internet related issue. So I kept it only for three types of issues, but there can be many more in your scenario. This is one level. The next level is language. Is it a English language call or other language call? So in this contact center, there are two queues. In one queue, you will receive English calls as preferred language. Another queue, other language, it could be any of the regional languages of South India, let's assume. And then we also have the model. Is this tech support is in a desktop computer or a laptop computer? So that is what I have mentioned as model. And how is the CSAT score trending for the last three weeks? So the data have CSAT is our, that is customer satisfaction score is our final metric and the data is collected and we are going to see the impact of issue type, impact of language, impact of uh, which model uh, the tech ticket was raised. So we're going to see each of this impact over a period of three weeks. So let me copy this data and take it to Minita. <coughs> okay, so here, here I have pasted the data. Now if you, if you want to understand about the C stat, right? So let me click on stats, quality tools, and I select multi-vary chart. So what is my response parameter? Response parameter is nothing but my Y parameter. Y is my output parameter. In this case, it is CSAT. So let's first analyze CSAT with respect to time. So last three weeks, how is my CSAT performing? Let's first generate that graph. So if you see here, last three weeks, my CSAT has increased from somewhere around 80 percentage to 80 roughly it has increased to 80 percentage to 86 percentage so there is an increase now if i just paste this chart in my project uh, presentation people will ask you know they understand there is an increase can you tell me what is the factor contributed to this increase so that would be the next question so for us to understand what is the factor that has contributed let's draw this graph in a different way so i want to understand about the three week trend and I want to know what is the role of uh, model that is whether desktop computer related tickets have contributed to increase or whether laptop computer related tickets contributed to the increase or it is both, both has equal contribution. Let's see that. So what I'm doing, I still have CSAT as my response parameter, but I have taken factor one as model and I have taken factor two as weak. Now I say, okay. Now friends, if you see this graph, Interestingly, the red line talks about the increase in the CSAT score and where it has increased from, it has increased from 80.27, the average CSAT has now moved from 80.27 to 86.33. Now what has contributed, if you see here, the circle with a plus symbol represents laptop and a simple circle without any plus or anything inside, the simple circle represents desktop. But if you see here, the red line has increased. And especially if you see between week one and week two, the red line has increased. Whereas the circle with plus sign was almost same or it was actually falling down slightly. So that means what? The desktop has significantly contributed to this red line increasing because the desktop scores have increased or jumped from 73.33 and it has spent all the way up to 79.16 there is a significant increase and when it comes to laptop it was slightly dipping it was from 88.6 it has come down to 
87.4. There is a slight drop, marginal drop. Even though the laptop has a marginal drop in the CSAT score, because the desktop scores have significantly increased, the overall CSAT also has increased. And subsequently for the next week, again, the desktop scores have increased and the laptop score also recovered, but it was at par with what it was on week one. So with the laptop not contributing significantly with the impact of desktop improving, there is a significant impact between week one, week two, and week three. So that can be easily explained using this chart. Okay, this is one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is, okay, let me not look at it based on model. Let me look at it based on language. So the factor that I'm adding here is language. So CSAT score, language, and week. Now let's see how this graph is. Again, if you see the CSAT score has increased, and if you see the other language, so the other language, the calls where I am not handling it in English, that score has moved from 77.8, it has moved to 80, and then it has also somewhere around 80. So the increase is marginal here from 77 to 80. However, the overall CSAT score has increased from 80 to 86, right? So then the significant contribution has actually come not from other language calls, but the significant contribution has come from English calls where we moved from 82. From 82, we have moved to 87. And from 87, we have moved to 92. So this increase is contributed by English language calls. So if we have to further improve, what we need to do, we need to speak to the resources or people who are taking calls in languages other than English, because this is my area of scope. If this red line I have to continue to go in increasing direction, the further mileage has to be given by other language calls and not by English calls. This is another way of looking at it. Okay. Let me look at it from the issue type. So I'm going to take issue type as my response parameter. So my, sorry, issue type as my factor, my response parameter is still CSAT. And if you see here, is there an increase in my uh, hardware related uh, CSAT? Yes, hardware related CSAT from here, it has went to here and from here it has went to here. Is there an increase in my internet related issue? Yes, there is an increase. Is there an increase in my operating system related issue? Yes. So in what this graph is saying is, on issue type, more or less all all issues have contributed. So that means uh, the team has done well when it comes to hardware or when it comes to internet or when it comes to operating system. Uh, week one, week two, week three, there is significant impact on all the three types of issues. Now, let me take week into the third factor. Instead of taking week into the second factor, let me take week into the third factor. I'm going to analyze it a little bit more into uh, multiple factors. So I'm going to add model, then I'm going to add language, and then I'm going to add week as third one, right? So I can go up to four parameters. First I showed you to, so it's always better to have week as your last parameter or time related metric as your last parameter so that it will be in your X axis. So response, model is first factor, language is first factor, and the trend of week one, week two, week three, so that will be your third parameter. So with this, let me click on OK. Right now, what you understand? Yes, the CSAT score between week one, week two, and week three has increased. Okay, the green line represents the increasing trend of CSAT. Okay, fine. What is the red line indicate? The red line indicates the average of English and other language calls. And as such, this red line is also actually increasing. The red line, the center point of the red line is increasing. Okay. Now, the red line for English calls is from this particular point, which is 82, has moved to 87. When the red line has moved from 82 to 87, what has contributed for it? If you see here, the contribution came from the... Uh, what I should say. So this is the, uh, let me keep the mouse pointer here, right? So the English call, CSAT, right? This desktop related calls have moved from here to here. So the single circle indicates desktop. So the desktop CSAT has moved from 70, uh, 77, it has moved all the way up to 
89. So there is a huge jump here. However, in the same period, if you see the laptop related call from 87 has uh, dipped to 86. So the red line moving from here to here is primarily contributed by the desktop call. So English calls is done well and that English calls also desktop is contributing to it. So this is two-way analysis or what we are doing is we are keeping CSAT as our response parameter and we are keeping time week one, week two, week three as our uh, time series and along with that we are analyzing how uh, the model have a role to play and how language have a role to play. So it is very clear and evident that the model, the desktop calls have increased significantly, right? And that too, English desktop calls, if you see here, English desktop calls have done well. The other language desktop calls, if you see here, the same circle indicates desktop. The other language desktop calls almost a straight line. So that means what? Desktop as a model has done well, not on both the languages, not on English and other languages. The English desktop calls have made a significant improvement. If you see here, it's a very significant improvement. Whereas the other language desktop calls have not done that well. It was almost a straight line. And similarly, the other language laptop calls, if you see, that's also almost a straight line. And even in English laptop calls, if you see here, this line, this line, and this line, almost a straight line. So what we are seeing here, there is a very good interaction between English language calls handled by uh, resources who are handling desktop related issues. So friends, let's go one level above, right? So instead of having week as my third parameter, I'm going to add issue type as my third parameter and I'm going to add week as my fourth parameter. As we keep adding the number of factors, we can go up to four factors. When you add the fourth factor, some of you may think this fourth factor after adding the graph looks very complex. So depending upon at what level you want to stop, you can decide. But let me show you if we add even the fourth factor, how will your graph look like? Let me do that. So now it has really become a little bit complex, So, but we can understand it easily. So what is this? This is English calls and this is other language calls. Okay. The circle indicates whether it is a desktop call. A circle with a plus sign indicates whether it is a laptop call. Okay, good. And if you see the language, right? So the language part is English and other language call. So this is the, sum, the symbol indicates whether it is which model. And these three rows here indicates how your hardware related issues have worked, how your internet related issues have worked, how your operating system. So as you bring the fourth dimension, it will not show interaction, it will show it separately. So this section you have to understand separately how hardware related calls things have moved, how internet related calls things have moved, and how operating system related calls things have moved. When you add the fourth parameter, you cannot see the interaction of the fourth parameter. Instead, you can see the fourth parameter individually as individual graph. So to make it easy, maybe I will issue the, uh, I will remove the issue type and I will add week here and I will remove week and then I say, okay. So this is very clear, very evident. The increase in the overall CSAT is contributed by English as a language and it is also contributed by desktop as a model. And there is a strong interaction between desktop calls handled in English language. Because if you see here, English desktop calls, there is a straight increase, the increase is significant. Whereas English other language call, it's almost parallel. There is no significant improvement. And similarly, if you see uh, laptop English calls, almost a straight line. So you can see this point, this point and this point, no big improvement. There is a slight improvement, not big improvement. And similarly, if you see other language laptop calls, so the data point is here, here, and here, no big difference. So the steep increase in the overall CSAT is contributed by an interaction effect of English calls where you are solving desktop related problems, right? Friends, I hope this video was useful for you to understand about multivariate chart. I repeat, multivariate chart is not one of the commonly used charts, but I have found it very interesting and very useful if I want to show a single variable parameter, which is your response parameter. In this case, it is C -H score, a single variable parameter. And what is the role of uh, up to four factors? You can analyze it up to four factors. 
But if you use the first three factors, factor one, factor two, and the third factor being a time series like day, week, or month, you will have a very clear, uh, you know, interaction effect between these three factors, and you will be able to identify is there a main effect of these factors on your response parameter, and you'll also be able to find is there an interaction factor, right? Interaction between two factors on the final parameter. Thank you, friends. Thanks for your time. So we will meet again in other videos related to uh, how we can use Minita. Till then, take care.